Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 103 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements. G'day, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, the stowaway Jack Nolan's with me and I've got Adam Finlay from Audacity Charters. We're fishing out of the fantastic Townsville region with the biggest boat park, the biggest set of boat ramps. I think they call it a boat park, don't they? It is insane. It's set up to go fishing. We've had a long run out. We're past the reef and we're doing something that I haven't done with you so much. We've sort of gone past the traditional, I guess, largemouth nanogai spots out here. What are we going to catch? Red Emperor. Tease me. Red, red Emperor. Emperor. I, love, I love that. Don't, yeah. they, I'll stop there. You had but, me. but a good range of them. As soon as you said red, I was, I was in. But, but um, gold band snapper, yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Cattle dog cod. Yeah, right. Cod Which is a blue Mary yeah. cod. Yep. I knew that's that one. Them, yep. I've caught one of those, so that's all good. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, Jack. Basic sort of fishing. So, Paternoster style rig. So, we've got. Uh, got uh, sinker there we're in what are we in there boys 65 meters and we're going to start with some squid but we might end up with some slab baits as well yeah definitely some big baits all right you know the best thing is i'm rigged up see you later there we go there we go oh jacko you're yeah, on nice mate. Work. Oh, 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 oh. That that's first bait mate that didn't take long did it that did not take long at all oh he's got me in the bottom i think oh i know well there's a bit of a bite I'm on two there, Jack. Oh, it's a good fish as well. Try and get mine up a bit higher than Jack got his, I think. You get yours out? Oh, yeah, I can still feel him there. Let's see if he'll swim out. Good fish, Gessie? Yeah, it nice. feels good. Oh, I'm getting a bit closer there, Adam. Nice. I'm excited. Can you go, Jack? Yeah, he's he still got me, mate. Oh. I can still feel him on there, but. Well, you just keep him occupied, and I'll get this fish up and we'll see what it is. Oh, it's still there. Oh, oh, done him. Missed him, eh? What have we got? I don't know, but it's... What colour is it? It is... Oh, that's long a nice nose. red throat. Look at that. Red long, throat? Long nose. Oh, long nose. Yeah. So he's just pointing to the camera. He has got a red throat, but that's not a red throat emperor. No, no, long nose. You can see by the, the longest, longest snout on snout. it. Yeah. yeah, right. Cool looking mm. fish. Beautiful. Yeah, and on the sounder you can see that bit of fluff and... There's fish sitting there. I think Jack had something way bigger than that somehow, but um, he's busted his sinker off in the bottom. I was quite off, some, we're using that Paternoster style, but I don't, at home, if I'm live baiting, I'll run a three-way swivel and a lighter breakaway, just in case you do get hung up in the bottom. That's yeah. something that we do a little bit different at times, but either way, it's gonna work, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. exactly. We'll definitely keep a feeder fish today, but I reckon this bloke can go back down and, and uh, yeah, he'll have a story to tell anyway. He's been, <laughs> he's been up and seen a bit of sunshine, but I'll let him get back down to the bottom. Off you go, bud. Oh. He's away. Oh, you're in. Yeah. Oh, you're in the game Finally. now, son. That's the go. Like, it's been like eight minutes and <laughs> haven't hooked up. <laughs> Jack's hiding in the corner. He got, he got hung up by a really good fish to start with, and he's gone and hidden on the other side. We've got the electric motor down at the moment, and if, I don't know if you notice, the breeze is coming out, but we're laying a little bit sideways, which actually tells you there's a bit of downhill trickle. Um, if there was no, no current at all, we'd be laying straight into the wind, but this is ideal in this depth. Not dropping anchors down, just being able to put that electric motor in, hit that spot lock button, and you're away. And when we finish fishing here, there's about another 50 spots that we can just cruise around and try those. It'll it do for is, a trout. Oh, <laughs> that's a trout. That's a cracker. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. That's it, that's it. I'll grab him for you, mate. You gotta grab the sinker and I'll, and then I'll hand him over to you. Look at that. So nice. tell us what trout that is. He's just a common. Common, just a so common standard, trout? Standard strawberry, yeah. Wow. So safe to eat that size? Definitely, so very rare to get them in commons, the ciguatera toxin. So, okay, yeah, so the deeper water. The blue spot. The deeper water trout are, are sort of a bit safer in that area because yeah. you do, do hear people say when you come up they're really big trout yeah. bigger than this you've got to be a bit yeah and, and blue spot the footballer so yeah, yeah, okay. totally different species so. but that one there yeah mate He's, you've done yeah. well that's certainly one species we wanted to tick off that's a cracker
Still got him there, Jack, eh? Yeah, still got him. Good head shakes. Better fish, guess. <laughs> Jack's, Jack's keeping the shark entertained over the back corner there. And, and I'm, I, I said to him, mate, how good, of, how good of mates are we here, Jack? And he said, mate, we're, we're, we're pretty good. And I said, can you just entertain that shark for a minute? So I'll let everyone, Jacko, over there. Hey, uh, <laughs> you know, you got to do what you got to do on the show. And... <laughs> Take one for the boys. Take oh, one for the I've, team. It's a good colour. I've, yes, got, I've got this one to the a top. Red throat. And it's a, oh yes, I love these things. Look at that. Cracker. Red throat emperor. Are, are these one of the cooler looking fish on the reef? Is he like hanging out with the with the blue bone, you know, like, and is he doing these? Yeah, Stylish. man. We're just Stylish. Stylish. Exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah, just a cool looking fish. Blood red uh, dorsal fin, red throat. You can see that red throat through there. And I've got to say. It's a catch. <laughs> One of the better eating fish on the reef, without a doubt, is a red throat emperor. Very lovely, yes. Yeah. Good work. It's got a bit of weight there too. Nice head kick on it. Yeah, let's see what this one is. Yeah. Got a range of rods and reels. Wow, boys are on 37 kilo glass tip rods and I've got a 24 kilo, 50 pound one. And 6,500 reel, 65 pound braid and 80 pound litre and that's pretty well across the board I think 65 pound braid that's pretty much what yeah. you're using yeah. you're on too go son good fish mm, oh very good good fish I think I think you've got me there oh not me but I think you've whatever that is is bigger than what I'm winding up and all I've got might be a red throat there's another red throat no it's oh it is yep it's probably a slightly better one again that's a nah, nice red throat emperor look at that what have you got? It's, it is a big Townsville special, it's mate. It's a big Chinaman, <laughs> which Adam's gonna go, not a Chinaman, and you, you're not allowed to take them for, because of cigarette terror poisoning, but I gotta tell you, is there a better looking fish than that? That's a cool looking fish. Hold that up. I know, I know Adam, as a- It's as disappointing as, as a charter, but as a, uh, as a pretty looking fish then. And your mates that. at home, Adam's mates, is, mates at home are going, Finlay, Another seriously? One. That's that's two trips. But that's, I think we got to nice Chinaman last year when we were fishing with you at some point. Yeah. But they are, hold that up, show everyone home. I tell you, if you're coming from my part of the world, that is a cool looking fish. They fight hard. It's just that they're on that banned list for as far as the so consumable item goes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We'll get this fella back. It should swim off pretty strong. There you go, buddy. Nice. Go, Jacko. Up it for the rent too, Jack. Yeah, you gotta get into it. We're doing some bottom bouncing. We're in the in the in the big boat today, the 7600. Fantastic vessel. We're about probably 55 miles offshore, somewhere around that 55 miles. It's a long run. Make sure you get like we're full of fuel, 380 litres of fuel. This boat boat takes, so it takes plenty of fuel. And uh, I gotta tell you, that's a cracking fish. Um, Eperb. Everyone's got. We got our bum bag life jackets on, so our waistband life jackets. So make sure you're safe. Stay prepared, let someone know where you're going. They're all the big big rules when you're fishing out here. And yeah. you'll get into some cool looking fish like that. Another nice red throat there. Oh. And I'll, just while you're holding that, Jack! Oh, oh, there's oh, a boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's Whoops. a fish. Good, good fish. Good fish. Good Hello. fish. The fact he hasn't got you know much action now sort of means he's quality. The fact that I'm not saying much right at the minute means I'm puffing and I can't. Yeah. Well, don't slow down. No, I'm trying. To, I'm, trying, I'm, trying I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get it up, but I, I do. You know, I do love coming up here, and I do love fishing with you, mate. I think if I'm going to move home, it's going to be up next door to you somewhere, buddy, so we can do a bit more fishing together. Oh, don't forget if you're up this part of the world, come and look up. Adam Finlay, Audacity Charters, it's Audacity something or other. Yeah, Audacity Marine Services. That's we it. We do a bit of everything, so. And I've got a bit of colour there. Mate, I'm not nice sure what colour. that is. It's the colour we want, it and just it might is. have a few more, it's a big trout. Oh, yes. Yeah, hey, 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 and back behind here, <laughs> just another one. That's the go. That is a solid trout. Yes, Good. yes, yes. Oh, Come over here, Jack. I'll jump in with my red probe. 
So that's a daily double. Far north Queensland, this is this is just great fun. Gotta get yourself up here and have a crack. Coral trout, red throat emperor, two of the prime species that you're targeting. Quite a lot of them stacked up. Oh, <laughs> oh I pulled out of him. No, oh, no, no, he just oh. went up with you. He might oh, be a no. manny. Oh. Good fish. <laughs> Very good fish. Are they peak months for this sort of reef fishing? Or? Yeah, so uh, August, September's usually where we're at. Oh, um, yeah, cool. More for the comfort of, of you guys uh, on the back deck. Because you're, you're catching fish. You're catching fish all year round. Yeah. I see it. Large mouth nanogai, red emperor, probably your specialty. Is that yeah. fair to say? Yeah, that's mainly what we target. And Chinaman? Um, oh, it's a big Chinaman. It's good Chinaman. Whew. Check that out. One of the issues that you do get <laughs> when you're fishing alongside is you can get a tangle occasionally, and that's what's happened with Adam and I. But don't be afraid. Pair of scissors. I'll re rig pretty quickly. Yeah. Hang on. To, you hang on to that bit of line. That's all that's left. Got to tell you. That is a cool looking fish. Look at that. I thought maybe Red Emperor just for a minute, just with those head shakes. And they fight similar, don't they? Yeah. Oh, right, oh, buddy. Off you go. Go on. Go on. Charge off, big fella. He's away. What is that? Special one, yes, the Just Japanese a, sea brim. Oh, so like an iodine brim, or All closely related, very closely related, but very good on the on the oh, table. Oh, so a good eating. Yeah, so like the that. iodine brim's got that chemical flavour. Yep. Through the meat, these guys don't. Very, very lovely. You can see he's almost clear when you put him up to the sun. Uh, the meat, the flesh. The flesh, right? So, yeah, yeah, when you well. fill it, them, it's like pure white. So another. Yeah, lots Beautiful. of good eating fish in this part of the world. There's no doubt about that. Some of the key baits when you're fishing in this part of the world, I guess cuttlefish head squid, which we're using today, and then flesh cut bait. So I've got some shark mackerel here, and you've got some squid. Just show everyone really quickly how you think a squid should be presented so when you're I'll, dropping it to the bottom. I like to go right from the back, so yep. right in the tip. Let's tip so of the hood. Just, just want once, twice, three times. Yep. And it just looks natural like that. When you're fishing here with a lot of little pickers, just chuck a second one on. Second one, wow. So that's and quite a big that. profile bait then at the end of the day. What happens is the first fish comes and grabs that one, pulls it off, chews away with it. The next one's still a good bait hanging in there. So okay, you've got cool. a double whack on it. And then a cut bait like that. So if, yep. we, if we go through, through the flesh first, yep. pin it, and then back through the skin like that. Pop and, it then, out, and then sure we've got really hook good exposure. hook exposure. Away we go from there. All right, I'll race Perfect. you to the bottom. Let's go. So what do you reckon you got there? No, it's got a real good head pump, so. I noticed that um, that current seems to have swung around a bit. Tide changes are just a bigger key out here as anywhere. Definitely, Adam, as yeah. far as bite time goes, so top of the tide. Um, yeah, yeah as soon as you've got tide, top some of form tide. of current there, yep. they, uh, they tend to turn on. Mate, a spangled emperor. A nice spango. That's pretty cool. So, they, you get them out in this deeper water, right? Eh? Yeah, definitely. Uh, up oh, to well, about 100 metres, yeah. Obviously. obviously that was a bit of a silly yeah. question. Mm, for <laughs> no, this is the first one I've ever seen in more than 50 metres. It's <laughs> a bit of a dumb question on my back. I'm allowed a dumb question once yeah, in a while. Just so. one. Yeah, yeah cool looking <laughs> thing. I'll let everyone have a look at it. It's just got those fantastic blue. purple aqua blue lines yeah. around its eyes. Member of the Emperor family. Yep. So not related to Red Emperor though, not no, a Legionic. No. Yeah, so a different one again. That's it. Grassies? Yes, very yeah, closely related. Grassies, Red Throat, yep. all those species, yeah. Cool stuff. Yeah. He's a good looking fish. Okay, yeah, we'll let him go. Right, I got him coming up there. He's just about at the boat. I can see a bit of colour, nice colour, the right colour. And there he is, a nice trout. Nice, nice common coral trout there. They uh, get a lot of, a couple of different species of trout. This one's a common, but you can also get the, what they call the bar cheek. And the, uh, the bar cheek's the trout that you get in close around the islands. The only way to ta tell the difference is they actually have, the blue dots are quite long, like an oval shape around their face there. So this one's a, this one's a common, or a strawberry trout as we call them. 
but um, beautiful fish. Staying safer on the water has never been easier thanks to the Marine Rescue New South Wales app and it's free. All you need to do is tell us where you're going and when you'll be back and don't forget to log off. So take a couple of minutes to set up your profile, be smart, choose the tracking option so Marine Rescue knows where to start searching in an emergency. Logging on with Marine Rescue New South Wales means someone's watching out for you. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water. So we're looking for a fish in that sort of 70 metre mark, so obviously there's lumps and bumps everywhere and when you're driving along, this, this boat's got a one kilowatt uh, transducer there, so it reads, it reads unbelievably well even in, in deep water. So these little spots here are worth flagging and stopping on, we've just sort of run across this one here, I think you've got yep. a couple of marks there. So what are we looking at there? Well, so you're that's... looking at your main rock and then uh, where water flow comes up to it, you're looking at, at fish along the edge of it, so they'll sit not necessarily dead on top of the rock, they'll yep. sit slightly in front, up to 50 metres in front, and the bait fish will in, move into In it. front of that, cut wherever yeah. that current's coming from. So I zoomed in here, so 62 metres down to that sort of 73 there. So that's just an exploded version of that picture. I reckon we need to stop and have a fish right there. Get into them. I don't know what I've got here. It's a bit interesting. Well, isn't that's, it? that's the whole reason why I said we drive. It's a long way to drive up here, but it's all about, oh, look at that. That's a good spangle then. Hang on to that, bud. And we had a move, we're moving around, and it's amazing that you find a spot. We didn't catch any spangle then from the other spot, and yet we found him. He's just starting to get a bump on his head, that Blake. Yeah, he's different. Yeah, he's got a bit nice of a lump. Yeah. But off you go, champ. Oh. Yep. There you go, lads. Oh. Got him on there, mate. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's the best fish I've had on today. That's a short. Just trying to get him he's away from the bottom. It. He's cool, isn't it? Oh, it is a good fish. <laughs> Come on. What are you calling, mate? What are you calling? You're always into me about this. What do you got? What do you got? What do you reckon? What do I think? I think it's a red emperor, actually. I think it's a red is, emperor. Yeah. Oh, it's a red emperor, boys. Right That's on, what we're nice. looking for. I'll grab him. You for grab him. Yes. yes. Look Woo. at that. Look Good work. at that. That's what we wanted to see. Look at that. Look at that. That's one of those prime fish that everyone wants to come and catch. Us southerners. Uh, especially me, I've got to tell you, I just love them. They're just such a cool fish. Fight hard, they're so thick through the body. So it's those guys and the largemouth nannies that you're famous for, mate. Yep. But uh, yeah, it's nice to see him come up. He's a great looking Pretty fish. Hard. I might just get up out of your oh. road. Thump, thump. He's a bit nicer. Thump. Yeah, that mm. feels like a good fish, that one. Oh, I don't know what I got there, mate. This could be something a bit different, Ed. Yeah, hopefully. Let's pull a bit of string down the bottom there. Oh, maybe a largemouth nana guy. Red emperorish. I don't know. Good head shakes there to start with. That's something special again. That's... So earlier we got a Japanese oh. sea brim. So this, this what is this? A Robinson sea brim. That's a big one too. So I'll grab the rod, you grab him. All right. Yeah, he's a good one. So they do grow larger. Oh, look at that. Wow. You can see how closely related they are. So it's a Robinson That's sea a Robinson, brim. That's a Robinson. So it fought, yeah, fought more snappery. So I thought maybe a largemouth nana guy or something else. That's a Robinson sea brim. Yep. Yep. Got him on. There's a nice bite on the bottom. There's a couple of nice head shakes there. As soon as you see him, pass me the rod and you can grab him. Yeah, I'm pull him out. Oh, there we go. Trout. That's what we're after. Grab him down there. Lovely. Nice trout. It's another nice trout. Caught a couple of those today. That's a um, good quality. Good quality fish there, mate, Definitely. for sure. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome Scanstrut Rock wireless phone charger, and inflatable waist belts from BLA, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Well, I'd tell you, there's a pigeon pair. Robinson Seabrim, that's my first. I know you're hanging on to it for me, Ed. You're doing a great job. 
Jack Nolan here with uh, with a beautiful coral trout. Don't forget, if you're in this part of the world, we're fishing out of Townsville today. Come and see this bloke, uh, Adam Finlay from Audacity Charters. He can put you onto some fantastic fishing. Not only fish like this, but of course, largemouth managuai red and for all those other cool Queensland species. It's been fantastic. You've been watching Real Action. Michael Guest, we'll catch you next time. Bye now. Real Action brought to you by Dog Pro Plus. Look after your best mate with a complete and balanced diet. Hyundai high performance forklifts, smart technology and safety, they're the driver's choice.